Hi everyone. Um, blessings. I hope all is is going well. Um, I just wanted to come on and share um, uh, this message with you um, guys. Um, this week has really been like a hectic week. Um, just at work, um, in life, um, for me. Um, I don't know about you guys if it's been hectic, but I know for me it has been a week. Um, um, and I'm very grateful for God um, during this week. Um, I really didn't feel like, um, if, if I'm just going to keep it all the way 100, um, I really didn't feel like doing any videos. Um, I didn't feel like praying. Um, you know, I, I really didn't feel like, you know, getting in my word and spending time with God. Um, last night, I... Now, I, I normally, when I pray, um, and I, I, I pray throughout the day, uh, but when I study my word, it's usually um, at night, um, a, a few, few, maybe a couple hours before I go to bed or an hour before I go to bed. And I, I really haven't been, been feeling like doing it. Um, so last night, the Lord, I, I was uh, just sitting up, uh, and I heard the Lord speak to me and he you know he said are you you gonna get in the word um tonight and it wasn't like a scary feeling of I didn't feel like it was just like a and I didn't say it but I know he knew um and then his reply was I I, I understand what you're feeling but you got to press past those feelings and on today I was I was talking to one of my friends um and she said you know that's the video right there um that that feeling of not wanting to do but doing when i think of relationships um i think about uh you know friendships sometimes you don't want to be uh the friend that everybody comes to and and you know uh you have to encourage you have to sometimes you just want to be that you know that ratchet friend or that friend that just, i don't feel like being bothered with all the stuff you're going through but in relationships, you can't be that way. And what I realize is with God, I'm in a relationship that I'm not always going, going to want to feel like talking to him or getting in his word or, you know, uh, spending time with him. Um, but what I've come to realize is in a relationship, um, you have to learn how to open up and share your most intimate thoughts I really think it's it's a, a, a great reward and a great blessing when you press in, when you do not feel like being bothered. Um, and I, I think it's it, it's really being honest with yourself and your uh, your partner. And at this moment, God, God is my partner. Um, and to really be honest and say, you know what, God, I, I don't <laughs> I don't necessarily feel like, you know, getting in your word and praying, but I know it is for my benefit. What I realized on last night when God, uh, you know, he He spoke to me, um, I realized it today that, you know, his love and mercy and grace for me, his love for me, because it's not for his benefit for me to talk to him. He don't, I mean, God has no need for anything. There is nothing that I can give to him. There is nothing I can do to make him better, to make him wiser. He is all wise. He is all knowing. He is all seeing. He is all mighty. He is all powerful, all on his own. And he don't need anything from me to make him anything. He is already that. I need everything from him. So it is a benefit for me that I get up when I don't feel like praying and pray that I press in when I don't feel like studying his word and I, I press in to study when I don't feel like talking that I talk it is for my benefit um not his and I realize that um so it is a special thing when you that's really how you you understand I, I really believe that's how you see and you grow 
in relationship with God, when you're able to just press past your feelings, your emotions, when you can go, you can tell your feelings, you know what, I know I feel this way, but I know my God. And I know that we're in a relationship and I know that I'm growing in understanding and revelation about who he is. And I can't allow my feelings to overtake what I have with him in relationships, whether it's platonic or friendships, you, you may feel like you don't want to, man, I, I don't want to be the best girlfriend right now. I really don't want to, you know, or I may not want to be the best wife right now, but it is for your benefit, for your relationship to grow when you are at your best for your partner um, or in your friendship. So it is for my benefit that I'm at the be at my best or I'm pressing in to God because in those moments, I get a new strength. I get new revelation. I get new understanding because I was willing to go, you know what? I feel this way, but I'm not going to let my feelings overrule my relationship with you. I want you more than anything else so i know i'm feeling this way but i just gotta shake my shake my shake shake this stuff off and move forward and keep pressing in and i feel like that's what he was saying to me last night but to see his love for me to go hey i know you don't feel like it i know you don't want to do it but get up and, and get in because i know that there was something that he wanted me to know or there was something that he wanted to give to me so needless to say i opened the book and i prayed and i i, I we you know, I told him how I felt, um, uh, and I it, this this feeling of ease and 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 laughter came over me. This feeling of joy, and I just read and I, I saw something new that I didn't see. Of course, as you know, if you watch the previous videos, I'm I'm reading Exodus, so I saw something in Exodus um, uh, that I that I didn't see. So I got new revelation. Um, of something that that I didn't know and if I I believe if I didn't press in in that moment I might not have gotten it um, but I'm grateful to have a loving God who is compassionate who's pat who's patient who's long-suffering who loves me enough to to you know tap me and wake me up out of whatever I'm feeling to press into his word um, so I just wanted to come on and share that when you guys are feeling, you know, at your lowest and you just not, you know, and it's not anything particular that you can put any one thing that you can put your finger on. You just not feeling it. You're not, maybe it's work, maybe it's home, maybe it's just you. You're not feeling, you know, 100% yourself and it's causing you to kind of go into that cocoon state where you just, I just want to kind of close down and be by myself. I really don't want to talk to God. I really don't want to talk to people. It is in those moments where you must seek God, where you must press in, where you must pray, you must read his word. You must be around people because I believe that if the enemy can keep you in that state where you, uh, you, you want to close off and you want to push people away, that it'll turn from you know, one day, maybe two days, maybe a week to a lifestyle and ultimately possibly depression because you you've you've allowed your feelings to overtake what you know to be true. Um, so uh, be blessed, people of God. I love you. I hope you guys are having a good day and I hope um, that that message helped you out. Um, God bless you and have a good day, guys. Bye.